welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be really fun to do a super beginner friendly cozy little project and we're going to be making a loungewear set, which I've never done on my channel before. So it should be really fun. Um, and my personal favorite like loungewear kind of sets are like a really oversized comfy sweaters with like shorts because that's just what I tend to find the most comfortable. Um, and it's also really good for like changing weather because it's been getting a little bit warmer over here. So that's what we're going to be making today. And for this project I went to Joann's and I found this absolutely gorgeous knit fabric um, and it has like a fake cable knit pattern on it and I thought it was really fun and like perfect for this project. And I got three yards of it because I wasn't sure on the design I was doing yet so I wasn't sure if I was going to do long pants or not. Um, but we're probably not going to use all of this fabric. I will put a number here and that's probably the amount of yards that you will need for this project. But like I said, it's just super soft and comfy and I think it's going to be so cozy. So I'm really excited about it. And like I said, this project is super beginner friendly, so I hope you guys follow along. And even if you are not a beginner, it's still going to be really, really cute. So I'm really excited about it, and I hope you guys are too. And let's get working on it. So this fabric that I was working with had a directional pattern. So I really wanted to make sure that when I was cutting out all my pieces, that the pattern was facing in the correct direction, so that I wouldn't have some pieces going one way and other pieces going the other way. But other than that, these pieces are super easy to cut out because like I mentioned, it's going to be kind of an oversized fit. So this really doesn't have to be all too perfect when you're cutting it all out. And the first pieces I'm showing you guys here are the sweater body pieces. Um, and I'm showing you guys the front and the back at the same time because they're nearly identical except the front neckline is going to be a bit lower. The next pieces are the little band pieces that go around the neckline and bottom of the sweater. And you could buy a second fabric to use for just this part on the project if you would want to. I'm um, to add a little bit of fun contrast, but these are pretty simple to cut out. Next up, we have the sleeves of the sweater, and we're going to cut two of these, um, and they look nearly symmetrical, except that when you fold these pieces in half, one of the top edges should actually be a little bit lower than the other one, and the one that's a little bit bigger is the one that's going towards the back. And then this little band piece is the cuff piece for the bottom of the sleeves, and we're going to cut two of these ones. And now moving on to the bottoms, here are the front and back of the shorts. And we're going to cut two out of each of these. And again, they look pretty similar, but the back one is slightly bigger. And then this is the last piece, and this is just the waistband for the shorts. Well, all of our pieces are now cut, and I think that we should start assembling the sweater first. So I'm going to work with the front and back of the sweater pieces. And basically, I am going to put these pieces pretty side to pretty side, and I'm going to sew their shoulder seams together and their side seams together. And when we are working with knits, we want to use a stitch that's going to give our pieces some more stretch, because if we use just a regular straight stitch, the threads are going to break when we stretch our fabric. So my favorite stretch stitch is this one right here, number 7 on my machine. And I just feel like this one creates a really nice and finished edge, while still retaining a lot of stretch. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my machine to that stitch and sew together all of these seams. And the only thing I don't like about these kinds of stitches is that they do tend to take a lot more time than just a regular straight stitch, but trust me, it is definitely worth it. Now I'm going to put these pieces to the side for just a minute and work on the sleeve pieces. And for this, I'm just going to work on them one at a time. So I'm going to take my first piece and I'm going to fold it in half this way, pretty side to pretty side, and I'm going to pin these edges together and sew down this seam here. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other piece as well. And now we can bring this piece back in and I'm going to take our sleeves and I'm going to turn them right side out. And I marked which side of my sleeve is the bigger one, just with a little notch here, so that I know which one is the back. And now I'm going to make sure that the back side is going towards the back of the sweater. And I'm going to put this piece inside of my sweater so that these pieces are pretty side to pretty side again. And I'm going to match up their lower seams and pin them together. And then I'm going to find the top of the sleeve and also pin that to the top of the sweater. And our sleeve should be a little bit bigger than the actual armhole here, so we're going to just stretch this piece while we sew it a little bit so that these perfectly align all together. So I'm just going to stretch it and pin them in place, and then we can sew around these pieces. And now that our sleeves have been sewn, we can turn this right side out, 
and our sweater is starting to come together. Now that both of our sleeves are attached, I'm going to work on the bottom edge of the sleeves. Um, and for this, we're going to need the cuff pieces that we cut out. And I think to just add a little bit more detail, I'm actually going to be using the back side of my fabric, just because I think the bit of contrast will be really nice. And I went ahead and I cut down my sleeves quite a bit so that when we add on the cuff, it's not going to be too long. And I'm going to take either of my cuff pieces and put them pretty side to pretty side, which in this case will actually be the wrong sides together because that's the side that I want to use this time. And because my fabric doesn't stretch in the direction of this seam, I am actually going to just use a regular straight stitch so that it's not as bulky around the cuff. And I'm going to pin them together and sew down this edge here. And now that either of my cuffs have been sewn, I'm going to fold these pieces in half so that we have this folded loop. And now these pieces are super, super stretchy. So I'm going to try to stretch them around either end of my sleeve, which is obviously much bigger. So I'm just going to take my sleeve and put one of these pieces over top of it. And I'm going to start by matching up their bottom seams and pinning those together. And then I'm going to find the other side of the sleeve and pin that to the other halfway point of the cuff. And now I'm going to do my best to just stretch this all the way around so that it will fit together, which is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think we can do it. And once that's all pinned together, I'm going to go ahead and stretch it a lot while I sew all the way around, again with my stretch stitch. And now when you turn these out like this, you should have these super cute puffy sleeves. And now we're going to do kind of the same thing we did on the cuff with the neckline. So I'm going to take this piece that we cut out for it and unfold it like this, and then fold it in half and put these two sides together. And again, in this case, my pretty side to pretty side means the back side. So I'm just going to pin these two pieces together and stitch right across this edge. And now I'm going to unfold this piece and fold it in half this way and bring back in our sweater. And I did actually end up lowering the neckline of the sweater quite a bit because I wasn't enjoying the fit of it so much. Um, and now I'm just going to basically pin the collar all around the neckline of the sweater. Um, you may have to stretch it a little bit again to get the right fit. And then once it's pinned, I'm just going to sew it all the way around. And our collar is looking super cute. And now the last thing that we have to do to the sweater is we have to finish up the bottom seam here. And to do that, we're going to do again the same technique of adding just a little band at the bottom. So I'm going to take our band piece and again, put these pretty side to pretty side, which in this case is the wrong side. And I'm going to sew them together down this side here. And I'm just going to fold it in half like we've been doing and pin it and sew it around the bottom edge of the sweater. And now with that, our sweater is done. All right, it's time to make some shorts. So the way we're going to assemble the shorts is we're going to take one of our back pieces and one of our front pieces, and we're going to put these pretty side to pretty side and we're going to pin them together and sew them down this seam here and this seam. And like usual, we're going to do the same thing with the remaining two pieces. And now that both of these sides have been sewn, we're going to combine them by turning one of them right side out, and then I'm going to put it inside of the one that is inside out. And the first thing I'm going to pin together is going to be their bottom seams to make sure that these line up. And then I'm going to continue pinning these pieces together around the curved edge. And then we're going to sew them together here. And now we can turn these pieces right side out. And we're starting to have pants. And now we're going to add the waistband to the pants. So I'm going to take the piece that we cut out. Um, and I was going to add elastic into this to just make it like easier to get them on and off. But because my fabric is actually so insanely stretchy, I don't think I'm going to add elastic because I think it's just going to be even like more comfortable without it. So I'm going to take this piece and fold it pretty side to pretty side. And then I put the waistband around my waist and like pulled it so that it would be a comfortable tension. And now I'm going to pin these together and sew it where it fits me nicely. 
And then once again, we're going to fold this in half and pin it around the top of the waistband and sew it down. Cute! All right, and these shorts are basically done because all that we have left to do is to add a hem all around the bottom edge. So I cut these down quite a bit to make them a length that I was happy with because I made the pattern pretty long because I know some people like longer shorts, but I tend to like mine pretty short. Um, and now I'm just going to fold over the edge once, fold it over again, pin it in place, and then I'm just going to sew this all the way around. And once that's all sewn, our set is totally done. And here is the finished set. in love with how these pieces turned out. This is definitely my new favorite outfit to wear around the house. It is so comfy and cozy and this fabric is just insanely soft. And I've been wearing this out around the house but I've also been wearing this top out with like jeans and stuff and it is super cute that way too. So it's really nice to be able to kind of mix and match those pieces. And like you guys just saw the whole process is really easy to do but they turn out super cute so I hope that you guys follow along. And it's a really great project for people who are just starting to sew, so you guys should really give it a try. And if you do, you can always send me a picture on Instagram, yada yada yada, I say it all the time. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!